Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about materials and UV rotation in Unreal 4. If you haven't watched the previous videos on material instances, textures, and UVs, I recommend that you watch those first. So the first things we're going to need is a constant one. This is going to be our UV center. The next thing we need is a texture coordinate. And then we need another constant one. This is going to be our degrees of rotation. Now the UV center, we want to set this to 0.5. If we look at a UV grid on Maya, the Y axis goes from 0 to 1. And on the X axis, it also goes from 0 to 1. And if we want this to rotate around the center, we want a value of 0.5 by 0.5. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the UV center to the texture coordinate, or we're going to offset it. And then next, with the component mask, we're going to split out the red and the green channel, or the X and the Y. Now we'll come back to this in a second. We're going to look at the degrees. Now in the end, we want to make sure we can actually type in a degree number. And the way that we can do that is by adding a divide node and dividing by 360 degrees. And then we're going to plug this into two other functions. We want a sine and a cosine. Now this is where it might get a little complex, a little confusing. From here, we want four multiplies. We want to take the red channel and plug it into the top. We'll take the red channel and plug it into the bottom. We want to take the green channel and we want to plug it into the middle two. The cosine is going to go into the first one and the third one. And then the sine is going to go into the second one and the fourth one. Now for the top two, we're going to add them together. And for the bottom two, we're going to subtract. Now from here, we can just append these to a vector and plug this all into the UV network. But what you'll see is that this is actually offset. In the initial stage where we set the UV center, we were also offsetting the UVs. So now we need to re-offset them. And we'll do that by adding two more add nodes, hooking them up to the top. And then we're going to copy that initial parameter for the UV center. And we're going to plug that into the bottom with 0.5 as the bottom value. And we'll plug these into the append and we'll hit save. And then from here, we should be able to go to our material instance and we should be able to see our degrees. If we start to rotate this, we should be able to see that this is rotating correctly or not exactly. So it turns out my UV center actually wants to be inverted. This wants to be negative 0.5. And now if we rotate, this will rotate around the center. So if we type in 45, that looks good. If we type in 90, that looks good too. All right, guys, this covers materials and UV rotation. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.